Hello, welcome to this quick review of the AS186 air compressor. I bought this about six months ago for £90, I think it was. So I was looking for a budget compressor to use with an airbrush. And this one's not giving me a moment's trouble since I've had it. So I thought I'd tell you about it. Although I think the price has gone up now. I had a look online today and Amazon are selling it for about £120. You'll see this type of compressor all over the place. It seems to be very common. But different variations come with different bells and whistles. The compressor is sitting on the top and below you've got an air tank of about three litres. So the compressor feeds compressed air into the tank and the tank feeds air into your airbrush. The advantage of that being if you didn't have the air tank there to like smooth out the flow, you might get pulses of air coming through the airbrush when you're using it. Also attached to the compressor is a fluid trap which helps remove atmospheric water that might otherwise get into the system. And on top of that is the air pressure mechanism. This allows you to adjust the pressure of the outgoing air. And you can adjust that between 0 and about 57 psi. But I have that set up to release air at 20 psi, which is meant to be a fairly good working pressure for most airbrushes. The kit comes with an air hose that's 1.8 meters long or 71 inches. And the power cord is almost the same. That's 1.7 meters or 67 inches. Now I think this runs fairly quietly, so if I just switch it on, I'll be able to show you. And this operates at around 60 decibels, which is not too bad at all, I don't think. If you've got a completely empty air reservoir, then it takes about a minute 45 seconds to fill it up completely. And then you've got about 25 seconds of airbrush use before the compressor has to kick in again and start topping up the, the tank. But obviously that doesn't interfere with the operation of the airbrush, you can carry on using it as normal. This particular kit came with two airbrushes. One's a classic gravity feed airbrush and it's dual action, meaning that you can regulate the flow of paint and of air at the same time, giving you more control. And there's a quick release valve you can attach to the air hose, which means you can plug in the airbrush without losing pressure from the air tank, which is obviously very useful since it means you can disconnect your airbrush without losing pressure from the tank. And the second airbrush, which you can see here in its case, is a siphon fed airbrush. So rather than paint flowing down into the airbrush, this one siphons up paint from the container underneath. Aside from that, the kit comes with some cleaning brushes, which are very useful. And you also get an instruction manual, which just shows you the basics. And each of the airbrushes also comes with its own instruction materials. So overall, it's a very good compressor. It's the only one I've ever owned, so I can't really compare it to anything else. But it does the job. Anyhow, if you're looking for a budget compressor, I hope you found this video useful. And I hope you'll stick around to see some of my other videos. Okay then, cheerio.